What's going on? I'm Lizzie the Gifted, and right now I'm putting out a brand new single every single Friday to end off 2021. And what I'm doing is paired with the songs that come out on Fridays, I'm putting out a new behind the scenes video to show you how I made the song. So I'm going to show you how I made my newest single, See You Go, which is coming out this Friday, October 22nd. And I'm really, really excited about this song. To me, this was something that was a lot different for me. I was really stretching my boundaries, kind of stealing that lo-fi R&B kind of vibe. So I'm going to take you to the computer. I'm going to show you how I made the song. So the first thing was I have a couple of cool synthesizers. So I'm going to play this first one. It's kind of like a synthesizer that sounds like a string. This is how I started off the song. Hearing this, I was like, okay, I could go somewhere with this. I added another. Paired together, they sound like they really fit. And I got both of these from Arcade, my output. Great instruments. And if you know me, you know I love vocals, vocal chops, anything. And this is from Distant Vocals, which is a pack in Arcade. You hear that already and you're like, oh yeah, like you could just play this, listen. That's a vibe, right? So all together, this is what all the melodies sound like. Vibe, like you already know. It's like, oh yeah, we're getting into something. Like this is some drive at night music, you can already tell. The next thing I added was a synth bass. It's kind of a bass in the background. I'll show you how the drums sound. to it, right? For me, the sound of all the instruments is very important, but the sound of the snare, very important how a snare sounds. That really, really sets a vibe. And then the groove and everything is important. So with all the melodies, this is the verse, right? Little breakdown section. There's also, I added another melody instrument. This is my favorite. This is like an 80s synth. This adds a whole nother element, right? So. You know you could write to this, like this is a vibe. Such a vibe, right? Mm. Oh, God. Insane vibe, right? Uh, uh, um, I'm gonna show you the chorus, so I want to break down the vocals too. Hate to see you go, but I know it's time to leave. You already know that you're the one I need. I've got a lot of vocal layering. You can hear that there's like the main. Hate to see you go. Right, there's those. But I know it's time to leave. But then I got these background ones as like a response. Go. Right? But I know it's time to leave. Kind of like a response to it. This was a unique way of how I wrote it. In the main, I go, hate to see you go, go, hate to see you go, go. But the background is, hate to see you go, 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 go. Like I'm repeating the word go a lot, so I'll play the main one. Hate to see you go, go, hate to see you go, go, hate to see you go, 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 go. But then you'll hear the response vocals. Go, 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 go. And those go along with the main one. Go, go. To see you go, 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 go. Cool. So, yep, there's those. I will play you the entire chorus right now. I love the way how in the beginning of the chorus, there's no drums, and then they come in when I start doing the go, go, go. All the drums coming kind of ups the tempo a little, so listen to it. Cool. Okay, so last thing I'm going to show you. Mixing wise, I always like to throw in a little audio engineering too. So you heard by those chorus vocals, uh, and when you go listen to the song, there's reverb, there's a lot of blending together, you know, 
It's a lot going on. But when the verse comes in, I wanted it to sound more clear. So there's a difference. One thing that I'm really proud of, like I'm gonna show you the transition from the first chorus to the first verse. The difference when you hear the chorus vocals and then the way the verse cuts through. So check it out. Hate to see you need to hurry up, girl, and take you back. You told me that you see love what it when I break your back. See what I'm saying? So really crispy vocals when it comes in, you know, and and Again, this is another song where I'm doing rap with auto-tune, where I'm rap being more melodic, rap booing, I don't know why I said it like that, but where I'm rapping more melodically. And, you know, songs like these are, are a different vibe for me, a different element. One thing that I've talked about with my friends a lot and with just other people is that I want my music to, it all falls under the hip-hop umbrella, like my music, but I want my music to be not just one type of rap, one type of hip-hop. Like, I am inspired by guys like Kanye and Drake. Kanye West has, all his music sounds super different. Sometimes he does crazy distortion, auto-tune singing, screaming stuff on his songs. Sometimes he's straight rapping. With Drake, he's doing his softer, more opening and vulnerable songs about love and relationships. Sometimes he's straight rapping on his very like bravado vibe. And like that's for me like what I wanna try to do with my music. So this song and last week's song we're very much more, you know, establishing other elements of my music brand and my sound and, and, and what I do. You know, so I'm I'm personally really, really proud of this song. I'm, I'm really, really happy the way it came out. And one other thing, too, that's popping up in my brain that I want to share just as a message to anybody, a message to artists, is like, personally, the way I do things, I don't know if I'm right or wrong. I just know I'm right for me. I could go back and write, like, I made this song. You know, again, I love show, love telling you when I made these songs. I made this song January 22nd, 2021. And I'm putting the song out October 22nd, 2021. I'm putting it out like nine months after. I could go back in right now and remix it. I could do new things to the vocals. And like, I know my hor hom homie Corey, if you're watching this, Corey, I know you're gonna agree. Corey would say, well, go back in and remix it. Don't put it out yet. My thing is like, no, I already have like the way it sounds, mixed and mastered, I'm already super happy and satisfied with it. I mixed and mastered it many different times, I'm good with it, so I'm gonna put it out. That's one of the aspects of Peaceful Fridays that I really wanna drive home is like, done is better than perfect for me. And like, there's so many people who disagree with me on that and that's cool, that's just not how I'm doing things. Like, I wanna put songs out frequently. So, that's where I'm at with this. So, if you're watching this and the song hasn't come out, be ready, it's coming out this Friday. But if you're watching this and it has come out, click below, go stream the song on all the preferred streaming platforms. Of course, if you're enjoying these videos, subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment, all that good stuff, all right? My name is Lisa the Gifted. This has been another episode of Peaceful Fridays, behind the scenes, and I'm gonna see you next time. Peace. Hate to see you go, go.